all during this time I was recording and it ultimately built a, a, a machine during that time that I could carry around and uh, that machine went through several iterations of electronics as I got to learn a little bit more of how these things worked and the machine kind of looks like like this guy which uh, this picture shows Hal Powell of uh, of clavier using it in a recording session and the picture was made probably uh, around the time that I was just finishing Stanford uh, and that's how the machine looked at that time. I was taking that machine and making recordings in various places and a fellow by the name of Tam Henderson saw the setup and said this is kind of neat it's very small it does an awfully good job he didn't know how it worked but, but he recognized right away that it had very low modulation noise and the time, bain, time domain response was a whole lot better than uh, conventional machines were. And so he wanted to learn more about it and I invited them over to my place and we went through many tapes and we found, he found all kinds of things and said, this is neat, let's just make an LP of all this stuff. Give it a title and see what happens. And so we, we did that, created a stir right away and uh, that made almost instant success. Uh, it, w it was called the uh, Professor Johnson Astounding Sound Show. Made that release and that made, for audiophile circuits, made it big time. That was, it was one of the better selling records in that genre.